How are you guys? Happy Monday. It's time for a drink, right? Right. I'll answer that for you, right? So this is like a new, this is a new time slot. I moved it back because so many of you guys thought that 7.30 sounded better to you. And I'm actually kind of close to starting on time. So maybe 7.30 is, is better for me too. Hi, better off red. Hi friend. <laughs> um, this is great. I feel, I feel much more, uh, at ease. <laughs> uh, I hope, I hope it stays that way. Anyway, um, what are you guys drinking? What's happening? I am having, um, something that I usually have. This is a Hendrix gin and tonic. I stepped away from it for a second. Cause you guys know how I feel about the hard kombucha. I love me a booch, but this is called my name. It is so hot here. I went out to run errands and it was all I could do just to get back to the apartment and the AC because it was just, it was, it was disgusting. Um, so today we're going to do try new makeup. I got sent some PR by ColourPop and what else? Oh yeah. I'm most excited about trying the new Glossier solar paint. I have two of the shades. Spoiler alert, I tried it yesterday because I went to a friend's concert and it was gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm really excited to show you guys how that looks. All right, what's going on here? Hi, Kim, hi, Helene. Hi, Simply Swatched. I'm gonna turn the um, AC back up. I thought I could make it quieter, but I'm already hot, so forget about it. Forget about it. Um, hi, Cece. Tony Page, oh my goodness, wow. Wow, hey everyone. My goodness gracious. Uh, Demi is here for the Glossier, okay. Someone else just said it was, they, it was like their first time making a live. Anyway, if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm glad to have you. Maybe, maybe this later time slot will pull in a few more people. Who's to say? Who's to say on YouTube, you know? I'm wearing my Better Off Red merch. I think I, I have like four of her shirts and I just rotate them. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna get into the makeup because why, why not, right? I'm gonna get down to business. I already, of course, have skincare on my face, but I'm gonna, I haven't done this in a hot second, but I'm gonna use a Hollywood Flawless filter uh, as my primer because, oh shoot, I forgot to, all right, I forgot to wet my sponge. I'm just gonna use a setting spray, I guess, to wet it. It's not quite the same, but. All right. It's not the same. I'm going to go wet it. I'm sorry. Like we can't have, we can't have a, like a dry sponge situation. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. Look at my, uh, wall. It's freshly painted in the last six months. You're welcome. Enjoy. much better now. So much better. All right. Back it up. 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 <laughs> Helene enjoyed the wall. I'm so, so glad. Do you guys remember when I had like that weird chalkboard drawing back there? That's like a subletter left and I was just too lazy to get rid of for years. That was fun. That was great. Um, Okay, let's do it. Let's put on the 
the Hollywood Flawless filter as a primer. Hi, Chris. So you guys, I saw two concerts in the last week, which was very exciting. I went to see Brandy Carlisle at Forest Hill Stadium. Do you guys know who Brandy Carlisle is? If you don't, what are you doing? Get on it. I've loved her for at least a decade. She is one of my favorite singers, singer songwriters. And let me tell you, this venue I went to, if you follow me on the gram, I posted a clip about it. Oh wow, we're gonna get shinty. Shinty face today. Um, at for sorry, so Forest Hill Stadium was where we saw the concert and it's the best venue I've ever been to, ever, ever. Okay, I'm talking about you walk in. So this is the place where I believe the US Open is held. Um, and they really revamped it and just made it lovely. And so you walk in and the, out CC, have you been? The, the area before you get into the auditorium is all AstroTurf and it's just so clean and so lovely. And they have all these gourmet food booths set up and just like city, city winery has a booth and like craft cocktails, illegal mezcal had a booth there. It was like so, so great. Oh, CC saw David Byrne there. Wow, awesome. Um, if you ever are in New York and you want to see a concert at an amazing venue that you'll probably never experience again, go to Forest Hill Stadium. So good. They have these risotto balls. <sighs> Guys, they have Nutella risotto balls there. Okay, I'm just saying. Run, do not walk. So Forest Hill Stadium, <laughs> more ball talk. Brandy Carlisle. Uh, sorry, <laughs> just reading the comments. They usually have like a very chill roster of people, you know, like I think, I think this summer they have Wilco and Slater Kinney, um, My Morning Jacket is going to be there. Like, it's a very sort of like, you, you know what I'm saying with the vibe. I'm down with the vibe. All right, so moving on. I'm not sure if Sarah's still here, but I am Robin Loves Wilco, yes. Agreed. Um, I haven't used this in a really long time. This is hipsterish. Yeah, a very sort of like hipster, kind of like chill um, alternative, maybe like Americana. Um, Educon, is the Nutella risotto balls a cold or a warm dish? They're, they're all hot. They're hot risotto balls. Mm. They have a pesto one. Don't get me started. Okay, so uh, this is one of Better Off Red's favorites. I literally bought this because of her. This is the It CC Cream. This is probably one of, the, yeah, I'm, I will say this is probably the full coverage foundation I have next to the Fenty Pro Filter. So I don't use it a lot, but of course we're gonna mix, <laughs> we're gonna mix it in the sauce. Okay. Going almost like done with my second tube of the body sauce. Kim Jensen, I've never made it to a live before. Welcome, yes. Okay. So, and then yesterday, so I went to a friend of mine, actually she has um, been a moderator for me. My friend Tina produced her own folk show. It was a very folky, folksy week, which I'm not mad about. 
And so she did that at Green Room 42 last night in Manhattan and it was so fantastic. She sounded like a damn angel sent from the heavens above. So it's just been like a really great week for feel good music, made me feel like a person again. Robin, are you mixing the sauce for the color or the glow? Uh, for the color. I mean, I'm not mad about the glow, but it's for the, for the color. Because otherwise my foundation is too light for me right now. Liz Chambers, I've been using the sauce as a bronzer. Ooh, good call. Um, yeah, so last night there was lots of Linda Ronstadt, lots of Carly Simon, lots of um, Joni Mitchell. Oh, so, so great. Jack, Jack, Jacqueline, I know we're here for what's on the face, but can we talk about what's in the glass? Oh, you got some Pinot Gris. Okay. Are you asking me what I'm drinking? This is, this is a gin and tonic. And speaking of concerts, we also got tickets to um, Joanna Yas. I saw Brandy Carlisle. That's who I was talking about previously. Um, we got tickets to Governor's Ball, which if you don't know what that is, it's like a huge music celebration. Uh, uh, no, what's the word I'm looking for? Music festival. Oh my God. Hi, Jamie K and Jamie K's mom. It's a huge music festival and I'm really excited to go because I've actually never been to a music festival. Um, I'm a little scared because I don't like people or crowds. People or crowds. Um, so, <laughs> you know, I'm really trying to just like branch out. Um, it's in September, which will be hot as hell. Let's just be honest. I'm not quite sure I'm like enough of a hippie to it's a three day music festival. And we got the three day tickets um, and I'm really excited because Billie Eilish is going to be there. Um, and I really I really love her. I just I don't think there's anyone like her and I'm really excited to see her live. So it'll be an experience to say the least. Liz Chambers, I went to Bonnaroo in 2009 and well, that was the last one I went to. <laughs> But Radiohead made it just barely almost worth it. Okay, that sounds about right. Hello, someone from Saudi Arabia is here. Well, welcome. Wow, that's amazing. Joanna Yas said, I think you're probably enough hippie for New York City. Am I though? I don't know. I feel like you have to be okay with just like almost kind of like a camping vibe when you go to festivals. That's just not me. I've never been camping. I've never been camping. And I'm not going camping. So don't even, so don't even start with me. <laughs> okay, so I feel like <laughs> Liz Chambers, I love not camping. Same. Oh, Cece said I'm bohemian, not hippie. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's probably Bonnie, girl, you lived in Wyoming. Yeah, did I ever tell you how much of a not Wyoming person I am? Was that not clear? Let me make it clear. I should never live in Wyoming. <laughs> I was like the least outdoorsy, the least, everyone is like in Patagonia with no makeup and just like crunchy McCruncherson's with their Tevas and their socks. I'm over here like in a full face of makeup going to, you know, one of my acting classes, because that's what you do in Wyoming. That's everyone's experience, right? Yeah, I, did, I didn't really fit in there so much. 
I'm probably crunchier now than I was then. I definitely am more like natural than I was then, <laughs> I think. Uh, <laughs> Wendy, I'm an inside girl, yes. Wait, what is that from? Oh, Titanic, right, okay. Joanna, there should be a federal law against socks with Tevas. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure someone could make it work, but I haven't seen that person yet. Carrie Thompson, I went camping in the Amazon when I was in college. Clearly I was in college. <laughs> wow, camping in the Amazon, that is, what? Whoa, snakes, right? Ack, eek. Okay, this, why am I patting this in? We're done. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to, guys, I am really upset because my favorite hair product, the Aquage product, I took it with me yesterday because it was so hot that I did not dare pull out my hair dryer before I left for the concert. I'm like, it'll just air dry. Did it air dry? No, I sweated myself to death all the way to the bar where I was meeting my friend before the concert. Literally like just like wet, wet. So it took about two hours for my hair to dry. So I put the, the hair product in my purse and like, oh, I'll just do it in the bathroom. I left it in the bathroom at the bar. I just realized that right now. I'm like, or right before the live stream. Damn, someone is gonna have really shiny hair. Um, Jamie K, I could stay somewhere outdoorsy with AC, heat, and full plumbing, and I have a full room and bed, but that's also not camping. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Acalapop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. <laughs> Carrie Thompson, camping equals an Airstream with a full bar. Yes. And I'm just going to mix this concealer, running a little low. It's been a good one, I'll tell you what, um, with the the sauce, of course. Oh, wow, that's, okay. It's brightening. So we've been, in New York City, we've been seeing like haze from the wildfires that are happening in the West, which is bananas. Um, and I'm just horrified every time I turn on the news. I don't know if anyone lives here, lives out West, but I'm just, I don't know what to say. It's just awful. So um, if anyone thinks that global warming isn't a thing, what are you doing here? Just, <clears throat> just miles of burning land. Cool, 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 cool. I will say, I always kind of forget um, sometimes I forget to put concealer around this area. And when I, before I filmed the other day, I just felt like I didn't, I don't know, it just didn't look quite right. And I was like, I think I need to perfect this. And I just went in. It kind of makes all the difference, you know? It, it really perfected everything. It's subtle, it's subtle, but it matters.
Liz Chambers, uh, wow, I'm really reading Liz Chambers a lot tonight. <laughs> what can I say? She has good things to say. I mean, I live in North Carolina. We got haze from the ones up in Canada above Minnesota or Wisconsin. Oh, Sherry Ford is here. Sherry Ford. Happy, this is what Sherry Ford says. Happy Monday. My ex was the outdoorsy type. We would go camping, like hiking 12 miles a day, sleeping in tents. Hated it. Did I mention he's my ex? Wow. I mean, 12 miles a day and sleeping in tents. That's intense. That's intense. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you for the donation. Was any of it fun though? Like any, any of it? I'm sure that moment when you were done with it was fun. We were like, oh, I really feel like I did something there. Um, tent camping. Guys, I just can't. I'm such a high maintenance sleeper that just would never work for me. I, I need like, I need the entire place to be chilled, like no light, like my pillow, you know, my like sleep crown pillow over my eyes, a little bit of white noise and the stars to align and then I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. Robin Brennan, great sex camping. Great sex camping. Great sex camping. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, that's probably all there is to look forward to. Sorry, I'm slobbering. Um, Jennifer Brown, hi, Kate and Jamie Kay. My 21-year-old daughter is now watching you both for your makeup tips and recommendations. Thought you would like to hear that. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Wait, she they're watching Jamie K. Does Jamie K have a YouTube channel? I hope she does. I better know about it if she does. Okay. Um Okay, so now is is the moment. This is the moment when I pull out the Glossier. Karen K, hashtag triggered. I had a shitty ex who liked camping. He was basically too cheap for hotels. Oh wow, that's not a good reason to like camping. That's the wrong reason. Um. Chris Lafferty, last time I went tent camping, it was with my ex. Wow, people have a lot of upsetting stories about exes and camping. He assured me he had a tent. It was his childhood, it was his childhood tent he used to play in. What? We didn't fit and our feet stuck out the end. Okay, now I'm upset. I'm upset. What do you mean? That is so selfish and weird. That's weird. <laughs> Ew. Your, ch your childhood. Oi. Oi. I'm angry at that person, whoever they are. <laughs> Liz, the moral of the story is guys think they want to sleep outside. No, just no. Wow, there's a lot of hatred for camping in this chat and I'm here for it. I'm really, really here for it. The two people who thumbs it down are not here for it. <laughs> they're here, but they're not here for that. That reminds me, if you haven't given this the thumbs up, there's 211 people here and I only see 82 thumbs up. So if you would please give it a thumbs up. I say you give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Say you give it a thumbs up. 
Thumbs it up. Now. Now. Go. 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 You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. 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 Ooh, 108. Okay. 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 111. Good. I think I'm the only YouTuber who does that. But you love it. But you love it, though. Um... Okay, so, wow, cliffhanger, the Glossier Solar Paint. Let's do it. So I have it in two shades. I got it in the lightest shade, shade, and then the sh next shade, darker. Um, the wait, hold on a second. Yesterday I used the darker shade. I think this is going to be a little bit light, but I'm going to do one side of the face with the light, one side with, with the darker. So you can see, I'll probably go back in with the darker and finish it off just cause, because. So this is, so it comes in four shades and, um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the product. So this is a creme gel bronzer. It is a weightless bronzer designed to capture the warm glow you get from spending a day in the sunshine. Um, okay, great. I think that's really all you need to know. Oh, except there's, it's infused with desert milk. Excuse me? A micro emulsion of plant oils and extracts like jojoba and aloe to condition and nourish and has a natural effect finish that blends seamlessly with the heat of your fingers. Okay, great. Great. Hi, Kim. <laughs> wow, wow, Patricia West. I hate camping because that, that is all we ever did when I was a kid. Should I just, should I just go back and retitle this live stream, Hatred for Camping? That would probably get more clicks, let's be honest. Um, I hate camping because that was all we ever did when I was a kid. There was a reason why we became civilized so we wouldn't have to do that shit. <laughs> yes, okay, so here's the lighter shade, Flare. I'm gonna use it on the right side of my face. Mariah sent a super chat. Hi, Kate. Can you say how the glossy compares to the Drunk Elephant de-bronzy? Yes, I will tell you right now, I don't use the Drunk Elephant bronzer like this. I use the Drunk Elephant bronzer um, just to mix into my foundation. So I don't know that I can speak to using it as a bronzer like this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Okay. I know it said you can blend it with your fingers, which we could do, but I'm going to use my sponge. I mean, it's really beautiful, really subtle. Try to get as close as I can to my hairline here. Oh, it blends so gorgeously. It really, I mean, again, that shade is really, really subtle, but I can, I could build it up. Um, but since I'm going to probably go in with a darker shade over that, I won't. But, you know, for someone who's like really, really fair, I think that's perfect. And then this side, I'm going to, so this is the difference between the two shades. This is the lighter shade. This is the, the next shade deeper called Ray. Uh, my sponge is... Um, shoot 
Lisa, Lisa, Loving 50 and Beyond sent these to me and I forget what they are. They're from Ulta. I'll have to look it up. So sorry. I can't remember. Um, okay. So this is the deeper shade on the other side. I know it looks like I'm being really intense, but we're going bigger, we're going home here. Oh, beauty bakery sponges. I think maybe that's what this is. Yes, yes, that's exactly right. That's what that's what these are. I have almost gone all the way through them. She sent me a packet of like six and I love them. So you can see that that's showing up a little bit more on my skin. Um, and yeah, you could also just blend, the, I probably could have used this instead of the body sauce and like blended this into my foundation as well. Oh, that is just the perfect shade. Yes. Yes, please. I would say the cooler tone, I don't know, it's probably the lighter one. This is warmer. There are no, there's no glitter. Not glittery. Hi, Lauren. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with this on the other side of the face. And maybe even get a little, I'm gonna just, you know what, let's go crazy. Let's just go crazy. Hi, Lisa. So uh, Robin's asking how this compares to the Charlotte contour. I don't have that. A lot of people have asked, or not a lot of people, but several people have asked that. I don't know, because I don't have it. Sorry. Um, the darker color is better for my skin tone right now because I know maybe it doesn't seem like it to you guys, but I'm actually quite tan for me. So um, the light one just doesn't really have much of an effect. And I'm trying to look bronzed here, you know? We're not, we're not trying to be like, did you put anything on? I can't tell. so good the tone of that is so gorgeous i almost feel i mean i'm gonna put blush on it does blend beautifully robin but i mean you probably don't even need blush holy shit this is gorgeous And it really does give like this pearlescent um, effect. Whew, that got real tan on that side. But you know what? We can always tamp it down a little bit here, but I just, I wanted to do it up. I wanted to do it up good. Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> How does it dry down? God, I'm so bad at answering that question. <laughs> um.
I don't know how to answer that question. I feel dumb. <laughs> It dries down well. It dries down dewy. I like how it dries down. That's the best I can do. <laughs> um, is it sticky? Lauren's asking. No. Oh my God. No, not at all. It's a gel. It's a gel. So there's no, I, I feel like I literally, like when I touch my face, it just feels like I put foundation on. It's not tacky. Thank you guys for leading me through the answers to that question. Um, Yeah, it dries, it dries well, yes. So the shade that I, that really, really worked for me is the second deepest, or I don't know, the second lightest shade. Um, it's called Ray. And the lightest shade is Flare. Flare. This is a winner, this is a winner for me. Like, chef's kiss. Okay, now I'm going to put on some cream blush. If you touch your cheek in two hours, does it still feel wet? I mean, no, because I, I use powder to set my face. So it, I, I don't, I don't ever feel like anything feels, I don't know. Wet? I guess that's not true. Some products feel wet, but not, I don't feel like this one does. Um, I don't have any products where I would touch my face and it would still feel like tacky or wet, like hours later. I'm not really down, I'm not really down for that, that jazz. Okay. So I got this like tiny milk makeup. Um, I've never tried this before. I've always wanted to try it. The lip and cheek cream blush. This is in the shade work. So... Carrie Thompson, Dewey, like that one lone ballad up, like that one lone ballad up sock that comes bald. Oh my God, I can't read. Wow, I just butchered Carrie's comment. <laughs> like that one lone bald up sock that comes out the dryer with the rest of your dry laundry. <laughs> yes. I'm going to swatchy swatch in this for you so you can see. Now, this is before I've set any of this with powder. That's coming up. So I know everything looks like whole dewy. I'm even going to put a little on my lips. Oh, Lisa, you're too much. You're too much. Jennifer Brown, thank you for the super chat. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you too. This is just a really pretty flush of color. I'm going to come back and double blush with it later. Um, it's nice. It's really nice. Okay. Now... Now we powder. And I'm going to be using my Kosas Cloud Setting Powder. You know I love it. Beyond the Skin with Michelle, hello. Um, so I started watching a new show. I think Lauren Boyless might have been the one who suggested it to me, although I didn't know what it was at the time. Ooh, damn, this powder is good. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, just like the under eye really got me. Um, 
It's on HBO and it's called The White Lotus. Has anyone watching this besides Lauren? <laughs> it's so good and so weird. It's so strange. It's about, uh, um, sorry, just had to stretch that out. <laughs> It's about a bunch of people who go to a resort in Hawaii called the White Lotus. And I know that sounds really generic and you're like, okay, whatever, but it's it's done by Mike White and I love his sense of humor. I love his style. He's so bizarre. It has a great cast of character actors. It has um, Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, she is so great at being so awkward. She is so awkward and it is, a brilliant study in awkwardness. <laughs> um, it's fantastic. And I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the next one to come out. Um, I'm trying to think who else is in it, but it really is like, I think Jake Lacey is in it. It's a, it's a cast of people who, when you watch them, you'd be like, Oh, I totally recognize that person, but you might not know their name. Oh, Connie Britton. Yes, of course. She's Amazing. Always amazing. She's a queen. Okay. So Tammy Taylor. Yeah. Wait, who's, which one is that? Who's that? Oh, Tammy Taylor. Connie Britton played Tammy Taylor. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> On Friday Night Lights. Um, so if you're looking for something to watch, go to HBO, watch The White Lotus. We can talk about it. It's kind of indescribable. Okay. So I'm coming back to the Glossier Boy Brow. I haven't used it in a hot second. It's feeling neglected. I'm so sorry. Because all I've been using is the Kosas Airbrow Gel. It is funny. Um, it's it's sort of like a like a dramedy, I guess I would say. It's a dark comedy. Yes, Liz Chambers bought the Kosas Brow Gel. She loves it. So good. So, so good. I, you know, in using the boy brow again, I will say the boy brow is probably a little bit more wet than the Kosas. Sorry, I'm like really... <laughs> I'm really holding some tension on this side of my neck. Oh! Here's an update. Here's an update for you. So when I went to that concert yesterday, my friend Tina's concert, and I'm not exaggerating at all when I say that I was literally, it was, I was in a panic mode because I bought this dress and it's super cute, but I bought it from one of those like really questionable companies on Instagram. Do you know what I'm saying? Where you get sucked in, but then it, it's like, is this a scam? Is this ever going to show up? Like, I don't know where it came from. Again, it's super cute, but the fabric wasn't breathable. <laughs> disaster disaster so just sweating bullets just like like walking through the Amazon and I, I tech so it was so bad I texted my friend Carly who was already at the bar and I was like please tell me the AC is like really good there and she's like you're good it's fine and I was like what is menopause gonna look, look like for me like this is gonna be I don't even want to think about it and I was like, don't be alarmed when I walk in and I don't even greet you. I just go straight to the bathroom. <laughs> but I mean, the humidity was like through the roof yesterday. But the, what I wanted to tell you was I wore the sauce. I wore makeup. I wore this. I wore the Fenty body sauce on my neck and like part of my chest. It I'm just going to say, I'm not going to say it is never going to transfer for you, but I was in a very, very, very sweaty situation and I didn't notice any, anything, any transfer. And I was concerned. I was concerned. So for all of you who ask about transfer, 
in that situation, I didn't find that it transferred. Okay, so I, well, maybe I'll just use the, the Glossier brow, brow Flick just a little bit. I don't know that I actually need it because, oh wow, oh that really, okay, that really, <laughs> that really came out. Okay, you know what? I actually don't feel like, wow, that was really dark. <laughs> All right, let's not use the brow flick. We don't need that shit. We're good. Um... Looking for a spoolie. I've got to brush that out. That got real, real intense. Wow, we really went in hard on these brows, didn't we? Okay, so this is interesting. I haven't used the brow, <laughs> the boy brow in a long time. And I went in with abandon because the Kosas Airbrow Gel is drier and I think I needed to use a lighter hand. Damn, brush out. Brush out, bitch. All right. That's really not brushing out very well. All right, I'm gonna go get some. <laughs> remover. I can't have that. Hall, please. Hall, please. I'll show you how to fix it. We're just going to get rid of it. Ay, ay, ay. Let's do it over again. I could leave it like that, but like, let's not. Let's not and say we did. Wow, that one stroke of brow flick really fucked it up. <laughs> I think the other brow is perfect, honestly. All right, all right. Wow, oh, I very rarely have a debacle with the boy brow. Oh my God. What? <laughs> wow. Have I lost my touch, guys? Have I lost it? It's so wet, this formula. Maybe this tube is brand new and I forgot. Damn. Wow. I'm kind of on the struggle bus with the boy brow today. All right, we're just gonna leave that. I think that's fine. Thank you, CC. You know, I think, um, see, once you fall down the rabbit hole of obsessing about one particular thing, maybe this means I'm obsessive compulsive, but I just can't stop. I just really, I just really need this to be filled in right here. Okay, I feel better now. Okay, oh my God, oh my God. Holy shnikes, okay. Wow, that might have really that might have really been the the, the nail in the coffin for Glossier <laughs> boy brow. Um, com as compared to the Kosas, 
I should say. What the, what the hell? Okay. All right, I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. Um, maybe, maybe. So I'm gonna do, so I'm pulling out one of the uh, ColourPop quads that they sent me. And I know, don't, don't be too hard on me, um, CC but I'm only gonna use one shade because we're gonna do, we're gonna branch out and do like a darker lip. And I'm gonna use this shade right here. This is from the <clears throat> Triple Scoop Quad. So this is what the, the shade looks like. Oh, CC was, to, oh, got it, sorry. I did already put the solar paint on Gibson. Yes, I did. I love it. The solar paint is a hard yes. Hard yes. you Caroline to the brow to the brow one and done so the shadow is again it's this color pop quad it's their new they put out like a, an ice cream bites collection is the theme and it's just this sort of like shimmery I don't know what you call this um kind of like shimmery goldy there's a little bit of pink pink um, glimmer in there. It's so, so pretty. Okay, now, now I am going to sharpen my <laughs> Victoria Beckham liner. I, I really am kind of questioning whether I need any other eyeliners ever. I am like legitimately obsessing about my brows. Okay, I'm going to stop. Um, <laughs> Victoria Beckham, I, listen, if, if you are, just get it. Just get this liner. I don't know what else to say. Like, I'm obsessed. Thank you, Sherry Ford, for sending this my way. It is not waterproof. I mean, as far as I know. Like, I wish you could see how I'm barely touching my lid. Oh my God, could I go on and on more about a freaking eyeliner? I actually really like that um, milk makeup, this on the lips. I mean, it's really subtle, but if you just want like a your lips, but better, well, at least for me, um, I feel like that's a really natural color.
Which sharpener do I use? I just have the, the Glossier Play sharpener. Hi, Angie. So the next live stream I do on Wednesday is going to be like a full Shantikai live stream because that's when everyone can shop their 30% off sale. Um, and Shantikai sent me a full box, a full ass box of product. I was like blown away. So I can't wait to show that to you guys, but I figured I would wait until the sale is open to everyone to do a full face of that. Getting more of this liner. So good. Um, all right, great. Now, mascara. So, Christine is asking, where can you buy Victoria Beckham makeup? I linked it in the description box. Um, it's at Violet Gray. I mean, I'm sure you can buy, I don't know, you can buy it elsewhere, but I think, I mean, that's where I get it from. Um, all right. So I can't stop using this mascara. I'm sorry I'm being so repetitive, but honestly, it is the boss, okay? This is the Beauty Pie Uber Volume Boost Velvet Mascara. <sighs> so damn good. Let me zoom in a little bit. Guys, I haven't seen any of the Olympics. I can't weigh in on anything. Mostly because we don't have normal TV. We have a Roku. So I feel like in order to watch it live, we have to have some sort of a, I don't know, like a TV provider um, situation. I guess I could just watch it on the YouTubes. Roku has the Olympics, but can I watch it live? I tried to, I tried that. And it was like, you have to have a, I don't know. Anyway, I'll figure it out. I'm not watching White Lotus. The Peacock app, huh? Okay. Oh, better off red shit. She said she'll hook me up. Thank you. I know. I'm so sorry that you guys can't get beauty pie in Canada as I mean, as of now you can't. It's a bummer. I'm sorry.
Okay. I'm gonna do the bottom lashes really quick. I don't know, I'm a little like, the Olympics, it's a lot of problematic shit going on. I'm like, side eye, S side eye. You know what I mean? Okay, one more lower lash line to go. Is a gnat ruining it for me? Okay. Oh, you can, oh, you can watch it on Roku? Huh. Really? Okay. Nope, one more. There, okay. Now, getting on to lips. So I have new lip products. ColourPop sent me, this is in honor of National Lipstick Day, which is tomorrow, I guess. Wait, is it tomorrow? Anyway, this launch is tomorrow. I don't have any of their lippy liners. So they came out with two curated vaults. So this is Bring the Heat, which obviously is like mostly reds. And this is Nudes, Truth or Bear. Um, so I am going to, oh, was it yesterday? National Lipstick Day. Oh, it doesn't even say what day it is. All right, well, whatever. This is available tomorrow. <laughs> and I've already picked what color I'm going to use. Oh, July 29th is National Lipstick Day. Understood. Okay, so this is the shade. I'm trying to branch out here, folks. Bichette. I've heard really lovely things about their lip liners. I don't always use a lip liner, so. Ooh, that goes on real smooth. Woo! Wow, it's like a gel. It goes on like a gel. It is pigmented. Um, so I'm trying to kind of overline a little bit, even though that makes me nervous, <laughs> but I'm 
I mean, that color by itself is so beautiful. It's like a, like a winter berry color. I don't know what I, did I make that up? Winter berry? Just a deep berry. The winter, you know, a winter berry. Nineteen fifties cherry red. Ooh, it is. It's a little bit. It's a little bit deeper than that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take. I have a sample. Don't judge me. Don't you judge me. I have a sample of the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Creme Lipstick, and it's in the shade, which is dark as hell. Um, and I'm just going to put that on top of the liner. This is called Vampira. I guess I'll do a little swatchy swatchins for you here. I think that's a pretty good match, right? I don't even know that we need this, but I'm doing it. Should have done a lip scrub, didn't do a lip scrub, so my bad. I think this is actually a perfect match. <laughs> like you probably can't even tell that I'm putting anything on top. I feel like this is also a really good way, like if you didn't feel like you got the liner perfect, if you use a brush like this, you can kind of like ease out the lines, you know what I mean? Wow, that is a beautiful color, and that's a color I don't normally do. <laughs> Joanna Yas, I feel like you need a fake mole with this, Luke. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. You just make sure that I'm convinced that my lower lips will never be even like they're just they're they're just not this is good as it gets. <laughs> um, it is kind of like Nars Corella. You're right. That's it's very similar. Okay, I'm impressed with that with those colors, I have to say. Um, okay, I'm going to back it up because we're going to do the, bl the blush and the highlighter. <clears throat> Okay, back to that milk um, cheek tint in the shade work. I have to say, this might be like, I've been over-focusing on corals, but I really forgot how much I love a deep berry. Uh, 
Okay. I think we're good with blush. And then I am going to uh, just use the, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is what I used yesterday as a, a highlight. Just never does me wrong. Never does me wrong. This is in the shade Fair One. I feel like this is a very like snow white look, but bronzy. Snow white, but bronzed. Not snow white then, actually. Oh. Mm. All right, I forgot, I forgot. So sue me. I think I kind of overdid it there. the rest up here because why not do I have enough blush I don't know I feel like that blush is a little subtle okay that makes me feel better yes okay let me just check in the mirror. Yes, just a little bit more powder. Okay, and this is the finished look. I really, really love, it's been a hot minute since I've done a bold lip and I'm pretty much in love with this. I can't, I didn't really get a feel for the, the KBD lipstick like I just got a real feel for the the color pop these these lip liners from color pop are great this one on like butter so and I almost feel like I caught I probably could have just like left this as is but I, I I was enjoying kind of going in and diffusing it with the brush um but yeah I really love how this look turned out and I'm I, I'm here to tell you this mascara guys 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 <laughs> <laughs> run do not walk okay it is so good like maybe maybe one of the best mascaras I've ever used and I know that's like a super bold statement um it's making Cece angry she's angry about it this was fun as always thank you guys for being here but also not but but al also <laughs> These Glossier um, solar paints are great. If you are a, I'm not, I don't even consider myself like a cream bronzer person per se. I usually use a powder bronzer for some reason. These blend in like a dream. So I highly, highly suggest. And this might've been the day that I went back on my Glossier boy brow. <laughs> Can't believe it. Um, thank you guys for being here. I'm do this again on Wednesday at 7, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. And you stay safe out there. Cheers till next time. Mm. Bye.